do, 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 do. Quick cast coming at you. Coming to you, quick cast. With your quick and cast. Stop. All right. We're going to start. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> All right. This week on the Drop Culture Quick Cast, we're going to talk a little bit about upcoming movies, movies that are out in the theaters, TV shows that we have brewing that we're really excited to see, a couple of comic books, and then, of course, we got a mixtape. Did you do a mixtape this time? Did I do a mixtape? No. All right. Good. I Because I got one. I knew you would. All right. <laughs> I'm a bad co-host. <laughs> so let's get this started. Um, my name is Brock. To the right of me, I have Mitch. To the left of me, I have Dan. Both of you guys say hi. What up? Hi. That was Mitch. That was Dan. Hi, guys. Okay, so the movie that everybody's talking about all the time right now that you can't get enough of, and everybody spoiled it for everybody, even though they haven't even tried to spoil it. We're just going to touch on a little Not bit. Not true. LaShawn McCoy, running back for the Bills, tweeted out the ending. <sighs> Like a douche. Good thing I don't get on the twit box. Well, I do get on the twit box, but not with LaShawn McCoy, so it worked out for me. Yay! <laughs> he's the Dude, enemy of the people sucks. now. Uh, he's a douchebag anyway. He like beat up some girl or something. Uh, he's one of those guys. Uh, he's one of those, no. those high I mean, allegedly, stars. so we don't get sued. Allegedly. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Until he gets kicked out of the league next right. year. Yeah, he'll be good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the movie that we're referring to is Avengers Endgame. Breaking all kinds of box office records. It's been the biggest movie. People have called it the greatest movie they've ever seen. Mitch, Dan, it's a big ass movie. It's 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 a big movie. Um, it's definitely the culmination of all the you know other twenty one movies. So and it, it really paid homage to all those pe- those moving pieces. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, definitely wasn't my favorite movie of all time. I've I've got pretty strong ties to some other movies, but uh, it was great. It, I, yeah. Not to discount it at all, and I was happy with the way. It, Everything went, and it was went some unexpected areas, which I thought was good because when a movie like this is being made, especially when they're filming it with the other one, Infinity, you know, Infinity War, they would film those together back to back, um, in about a year, right. I can't say what I was about to say because it's a spoiler. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't be spoiling over here. No more spoiling. But you're gonna, you're going to notice one thing too is that we haven't been talking about this movie a lot because uh, everybody else is. Everybody, exactly. absolutely everybody else is always going to be talking about this movie for the next month or two. Bigger for the than next anything. year, yeah, the next bigger year. than anything coming out. I don't think any other movie this year is going to top this one. Like you thought, Titanic was a big production. You thought like Avatar was a big production. You thought Infinity War was a big production. Yeah, this was even more so. Oh my god! I've never oh, running seen running time this over big. three hours, right? Yeah. yeah. So and barely, but yeah. yeah. People are complaining that they can't go pee in the theaters because they don't there's, want to. There's miss a anything. couple spots where you can. Oh, okay. Like that, okay. I actually read an article before we went because I went with my wife, and I'm like, "This is three hours," and she had just done like a uh, close and then an open, and then we went to a movie. Oh, Ooh. which meant she saw an hour and a half of this three hour movie, which is fine. That's yeah, fine. She yeah. was a trooper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she went yeah. with me. I mean, the important part is you got to see it. So. Yeah. 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 It really was the most important part. I'm just yeah. saying. No. <laughs> I'm going soon, so I can't wait to go see it. I know everybody in my family is happy to go see it. And every, every, as soon as I go see it, then all bets are off for us. That's right. We're just going to be talking about it all the time. Oh, be prepared. No, we're not. We're not going to talk parts. about it all the time. <laughs> this is dropped culture. Not, <laughs> yeah. hey, this is in your face right now. Culture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, probably the biggest surprise in that movie was when Mr. Potato Head came out of the blue and just you know, like I heard he was day. in it. it was well, weird. I think what really got it. it for me was when, um, you know, like probably mid movie when that portal yeah. opened and yeah. Buzz Lightyear and Woody came through. They're really That's taking really this. what did it to me. That crossover world. This Disney merger is starting to get a little out of hand. Well, you know, yeah. I heard Sonic the Hedgehog was in it, but you know, I'm not going to well, say they anything. Actually Whoops, are, spoiler alert. They're editing him out so they can redesign him. Because oh. <laughs> yeah. everybody was a little upset uh, with the design yeah. of him. Not cool. Mm. Not cool at I all. I mean, of all the things, Sonic being an Avenger. Yeah. Sonic being a live action movie. <sighs> Yeah. Not Why? Cool. Why? Yeah, not gonna happen. No, Why? I I am really Why did glad. somebody make that decision? <laughs> I spent a lot of movie on it. I, I, I am... spent a lot of movie on it. 
Is that what he said? Yes. Okay, okay. It's been a lot of movie on it. It's been a lot of movie on it because you know it'll How be much two and a half movie? hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and money, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that or anything, but it makes sense, you know? No, I mean, it Paramount... sounded prophetic. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, with Paramount actually redoing it, like because of the internet outrage. And, and, ju- and just real quick, not yeah. to interrupt you, but <laughs> Sonic he, is not an Avenger. He isn't. Oh. No. No. And we're talking about the Paramount live action Sonic movie at this point. Yes. Mm. Okay. Just, just for clarity. Yeah. Well, fuck Sega. That's all <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> Dreamcast was a shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Everything else that Sega was. Oh, sucked. okay. There we go. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah. Sonic. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Nintendo head. That's why you have an Apple phone. Yeah. No. Right. Because <laughs> it's easy. Exactly. I don't have to think. <laughs> it's all right there. Well, enough about the Avengers, because God <laughs> knows you're going to hear about it everywhere you go. Um, if, you other... want, if you do want to listen to it, there's like 75 other podcasts doing that right now. <laughs> no, 7,500 yeah. probably. <laughs> so check those out. <laughs> yeah. And everybody loves the Marvel movies. They're just going to be as good as they are. The next step after this is going to be another big movie in another 10 years. is going to blow everybody out of the fucking water. So 2028. What, what, think about that for a minute. What story arc could they use that would ever beat this? I've been thinking about this for like a day. So think about that for just a moment. And I'll, tell, I'll give you my answer in a minute. Infinity Gauntlet was one of the craziest things in the, in the whole Marvel Universe, except for the end of the mutants. Well... What I thought maybe might work and might be the thing to beat it just because of what it is, is uh, Avengers versus X-Men, which Mm -hmm. was a pretty major storyline fairly recently. And I think that that would be enough to bring that many people back out if you built it up from both sides. Yep. You know what I mean? That could be phase 18. Yeah, yeah. That's (laughs) that's phase 1974. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any other big event in the Marvel Universe that's been like that. I mean, Galactus coming, that would be a big one. Yeah. Um, That could be a huge one because, again, it's another global threat. Yeah, you can't you can't do like the uh, secret war, or you can't do like Those you can't do shots. secret wars. Um, you can't do um, battle of champions or anything like that, where it's like some beyond a level person just says you guys are going to fight each other. Yeah, because right. you can't do that what anymore. Is this Star Trek. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, what is this? Nineteen sixty eight. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe Earth X. If you built that up over a long time and you yeah, introduced all the characters, be, I think that it would, would be, be harder, the... but you could do it. You yeah. could do it as an alternate timeline um, that they visit, you know, that these characters visit yeah. somehow. That'd be about, I think that's the only way you could do that. Or you have it just run independently completely. Yeah. And then you have some little crossover piece where suddenly, now if you want to bring that together, you could. But I think yeah. that would be harder. Yeah. Harder. I think it'd be a cool, cool premise. Yeah. I'm actually super interested to see some of the stuff that's going to be coming out on Disney Plus now that they're kind of... Yeah, Man. more series to build up. And yeah. Maybe if they take... And I almost said something from that movie right there. And I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> exactly. You, have, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And I'm like, oh. Uh, I, yep, I stopped the, myself the, earlier. I, was like, <laughs> I, I think an, a, a, another big kind of arc that they could do over 10 years would be DC's Crisis on Infinite Earths, maybe. If they could introduce all those characters in the right way, sure. like they did Marvel. And then do that as a completely... Another in-game type of a deal. If DC would do it right, yeah, they should. Now yeah. they got AT and T money; they should be able to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Truth. True. So, uh, Warner Media, you mean? Yeah, yeah they could. They yeah. could take care of that. Yeah, they should be able to do it. Any other movies you guys are excited about? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I was poking around, and uh, I'm excited to see this movie. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in a the theater. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a limited release. It's called Fast Color. The preview looked pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, look kind of just. Dis- dystopian future it's really dust bowl looking so there's no uh, basically water i guess is like one of the things like it's from what how it was explained it's really dry looking and apparently um it's a family of uh women that generational like a mom and a daughter and the daughter leaves and leaves her daughter with the, her mom but apparently she has some sort of power and it looked like it was kind of like power over the weather a little bit almost yeah. stormish a yeah. little bit maybe yeah. Like she had um, elemental powers. Right. And then you find out her daughter also has powers. And it's a really low budget movie, but it looks really smart. Um, I, I like the preview a lot. Um, so excited to see that maybe if I can find it somewhere. Movie, we'll see. What is the movie called again? Fast Color. Fast Color. Yeah, I'll throw a I'll throw a link in our description if you want to check yeah. it out. Have really? you had a chance to see that trailer yet, Mitch? Yeah, yeah. It looked yeah. really, really good. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of the independent production companies are actually coming out with something decent now because the cost isn't as much as it used to be for the computer graphics. So I can see this one being a pretty good one. 
when it comes to TV, uh, I really want to talk about the Watchmen TV series is coming up. Oh, yeah. There's not a lot of press about it right now, but it's something that I think is going to be another one of those big things about Watchmen. Watchmen is a very understood um, comic book when oh, it came out. Very misunderstood movie. Now it's going to be the TV series that everybody's going to love. Now, what I've read so far, it's a completely independent new original story. But it does have um, at least one of the characters so far from the actual graphic novel. Ozymandias. 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 <laughs> yeah, Ozymandias. However you say Osmosis. his name is. Um, Adrian V. Reverse Ozymandias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's Jeremy Irons. He's going to be in it. Wait so a I mean, says Osmandius Jones. Oh, <laughs> it, and everything that they're everything that they're teasing on HBO is just very, very small and very, very vague. So I hope it really does come out and crush everything. And and well, I mean the the front runner for the show is David Lindelof. Come on, he's created some of the the greatest things to come out of TV for the last twenty years. He did Lost. He was oh. one of the executive producers of Lost, which was so fucking vague, but awesome, you know, that hopefully they continue this. One character I don't really know much about is Chief Judd, and that's Don Johnson. Don Johnson in anything, I'm I'm down for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of those 80s, the, the 80s it? things. Yeah. <laughs> he better be a badass motherfucker, right? A, from, a, from a dog and his boy. Oh. <laughs> Gene Smart's in it, too. Um, and Gene Smart is playing somebody called Agent Blake. Well, you know who the comedian's name was. His his last name was Blake. Um, so oh, yeah. so I don't know how that's going to tie into it. I don't know if it's going to be set if it's going to be set after the time of, or if it's going to be set before, or in the middle, or something like that. It's going to be a completely whole brand new deal because they are introducing two characters from the uh, the actual new Doomsday Clock comic book, um, Marionette and the Mime. So those are two characters that are actually completely brand new to the whole deal. And from what I read from Doomsday Clock, they were actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. the villains that follow, right? They were kind of like they were kind of like villains, but they're almost like heroes and everything. I mean, yeah. everything's so up in the air about that series anyway. Right. That this is just going to be something completely cool and different. I think they're going to travel in that world and like the the vague the vagueness of their little teasers that they had. They had the the black freighter flag. Right. Flying with the the sickle, you know, yep. so it looks a little weird. Then they also had the um, the elemental kind of uh, Doctor Manhattan symbol right. on Mars somewhere. And then what was the last one? That it was they like had? a weird U.S. flag with the round stars. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like everything's all together now or something. I don't know. So I don't know how they're actually going to continue it. If Nixon's going to be involved in this one or not, because he was a big part of the last one. But it's all these heroes kind of inventing their own kind of style and living in a new world. And they have some really good bad guys in it. There's a there's a character named Panda in it. There, God, a lot of the characters they had the the names of the people playing them, but they didn't really necessarily have what their names were, and they only have about three reoccurring characters in the whole deal. So even if they have a ten like a ten episode series, hopefully they continue it and just build that world up more and more and more and get more people involved in the Watchmen. And hopefully here soon with us. We get to do something like um, maybe even a podcast about the Watchmen comic book. Yeah, that because would be great. that that is one of my favorite ones of all time. Just because the graphic novel it reads like a reads like a movie. Everything about it is is literally it's, it's listed on one of the greatest books to ever read in your entire life. You the know, movie yeah. was ahead of its time already. You oh know? my god! Yeah, it was mm-hmm. every time. Every time I see Negan, yeah. I want to watch Watchmen. Yeah, <laughs> every time. Every time I want to see Blue God Penis. <laughs> I watched the Watchmen. Yeah, watch the Watchmen. <laughs> His penis is right up, right up front. Yeah, it's all right there, <laughs> right there in your face. <laughs> Well, and moving on. So whenever we come down to comic books, I, my honorable mentions for these comic books is I've been looking, I've been doing a lot of research because I don't really buy a lot of comics and I wish I could. If I could buy 15 comics a day and read them, I would probably. But this one that really caught my eye was Alien Resistance. So they're they're up to, they're going to be issue number four, issue number five this month, somewhere around there. I think issue number four. But it follows Ellen Ripley's daughter, you know, so it's all based okay. in in the alien world so i really don't know a lot that's in it you know i've been really obsessing over getting the immortal hulk you know because you know it's that darkness and then that i look for titles like that sure like the alien resistance so i don't know how it's going to be they've been publishing alien books for years oh years, years. always so i, I really kind of want to read that or maybe even get the trade whenever that one comes out this one is a weird one because i always try to find the weirdest title out of everything all right yeah <laughs> red sonia and vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. 
that's coming out this month. That and doesn't surprise they, me. With all the Archie comics they've been doing lately, there's like been a lot of undead Archie. Yeah, and all kinds of I, I, just I, all kinds of stuff. I own um, Archie versus Predator, <laughs> <laughs> the graphic novel, and it is a great book. Really? No shit. Really? I read it cover to cover, first sitting, didn't even stop. Maybe I took a couple of dumps while I was doing it, but you hey, know, we don't count you that. Know, hey, yeah, but You're it still was reading. Yeah. <laughs>